Hey guys, and welcome to episode 10 of Banjo... Let's Play Banjo... Blah. Welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Yes. Alright. So the puzzle that we just completed, we got the bottles bonus 2. Cheat. And that... That will basically change Banjo so he has big hands and big feet. And this puzzle, the location, actually takes place in the next level. So you're pretty much getting a preview of Rusty Bucket Bay. <laughs> so how have you guys been doing? Everything's been pretty weekly here with the banjo videos since Christmas. Just about been... Actually, it's been a month now. It's been a full month, and we've had five episodes in a row. I think. Has it been five ep Yeah. Yeah, it's been five episodes in a row. That's pretty- that's per- that's- that's- that- okay, I'm not gonna do that, but that's pretty impressive. Okay, so, that was- we completed that puzzle, and we unlocked Bottles Bonus 3, and that will turn Kazooie bigger. She'll have a bigger head. Well, she, not, she's not completely bigger, but she has a bigger head and bigger wings. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention about the Bottles Bonus cheats is that they will only work in your current playthrough so if you save the game like if you save and quit or even turn off the game then you'll have to do all this again but because I'm record recording this all at once it's not a big deal This, and this location here is actually uh, the final level, Click Clock Wood. Nabnut likes his acorns. This is actually springtime. So now we just got the Bottles Bonus 4 cheat. And Bottles Bonus 4 it essentially gives Banjo a hot dog shaped body and, her, and turns his head really tiny. Like, his body is actually extended to be shaped like a hot dog. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah, another thing with these cheats. Um, since there aren't any numbers inside the sandcastle, you have to actually spell out the number. So for bottles bonus one, you have to put bottles bonus and then O and E for one. and So on and so forth. And uh, I think for the sake of this video, I'll probably include the cheats for Bottles Bonus in the description. As well as uh, the cheat no bonus, which gets rid of the, the bonus that you have placed upon yourself if you did place one upon yourself. And that gives us Bottles Bonus 5. And Bottles Bonus 5 is basically Bottles Bonus 4 with the hot dog, body, small head, except Banjo has big hands and big feet to go along with it. So it basically combines 2 and 4 together. And I really love the music f for Bottles Bonus, and how it gets increasingly faster as the time goes down. And that that right corn, top right corner piece, that's my br I don't know why, but that's my brother's favorite piece of the puzzle in the banjo games. 
Well, in terms of this puzzle and the puzzle of unlocking worlds in Tui. But, I don't know, he's, he get he really loves that piece, and if I ever put it on, he always wants me to put it on last, even when I'm, when, even when he doesn't see me play, and if I do put it on last, then he just, he gets mad. It's like, but that's my piece. Don't put it on, it has to be put on last. Rabble, 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 stuff like that. And that gives us bottles, oh no, it gives us the cheat big bottles bonus. And that essentially makes Banjo's head big, his hands and feet are big, and it makes Kazooie's head and wings big. So it's essentially like some big thing. It's kind of scary sometimes and this is the, actually the the hit the hidden puzzle well it's not really hidden but if you decide to go to the puzzle again to try it again it turns out that there's one more that bottles has for you to do the only difference with this one is that you get less time by 25 seconds and since the pieces are all scattered about rotated oddly and w with the area that Banjo's in it, it can really get messy so you, you have to know your puzzle pieces you need to know your jiggies that's all there is to it. Man, I love this theme. Especially when it gets faster. And there we go. This gives us the cheat wishy-washy banjo. Which turns Banjo into a washing machine. It's pretty cool, right? And that gives us the Jigsaw. I think the Jigsaw Master achievement. Worth 20 or 25 gamer score. Wait, no, it's worth 20 gamer score. And that basically you get it for completing bottles bonus all seven puzzles so now that we have the three Cheeto cheats as well as the bottles bonus cheats to play around with we can make one more trip back to treasure trove cove it's so weird being in this part of the lobby at this late in the game Such, such noobness with well, not noobness, but such early beginnings in this area. Might as well unlock Click Clock Wood while we're here. I wonder how many jiggies I'm gonna have. Let's see. I have 24, and now I have nine. So I had to use 15 jiggies. So all together in this size puzzle, there are 16 pieces. It's pretty cool. Four times four. Four plus four plus four plus four. Four times two times two. Yeah, 16 divided by two is eight. Eight is my favorite number. You now know something new about me. And we actually have eight jiggies in <laughs> Gruntilda's lair collected. Hey, Shark Food Island. 
Once again, we have to do this because in Banjo Kazooie, the level pretty much resets after you leave or die. That's still the case in the Live Arcade version, but the only difference is your notes and Jiggies and Jinjos save. And you don't have to collect them again. Well, after you collect a Jiggy, you don't have to get it again anyway, but you know what I mean. Maybe. Oh. So we're gonna start with blue eggs, and that will double our egg amount from 100 to 200. <laughs> I said 2 2. In terms of I don't really see much of a need to have 200 eggs. I mean, you probably could have lasted most of the game with just 50, but... Depends on how badly you need the eggs and how much you use them. So now we're going to put in red feathers. And that will double our feather amount from 50 to 100. Now I see this cheat as actually being worth it because I always find that you, l you lose a ton of feathers just from one flight even. And now we can carry 100. I actually didn't know this, but I was I was playing the live arcade version. I think back in November. December November. Yeah, I think it was November. And I actually was able to enter in two cheats without exiting. And I had no idea that you could actually do that. So that I thought that was pretty cool. So now we're putting in the cheat gold feathers, which allows us to carry 20 gold feathers, which in itself is mighty useful. And with that, 20 gold feathers. And now we can put in one of the bottles bonus cheats. I think I'm just going to put in bottles bonus one. So just type out bottles. B O T T L E S bonus B O N U S and then one O N E and now Banjo has a big head and he's gonna be stuck with that big head for the rest of this playthrough <laughs> but yeah to cancel the cheat you just put in no bonus so you essentially get eight cheats to use just from doing bottles bonus. And now we say farewell to Treasure Trove Cove. And with all that done, we can finally enter the Bay of Rusty Buckets. <sighs> and have a go. Had a lot of fun with this let's play. Aside from the amount of editing I've had to do, it's been a lot of fun. Yet I still have five more episodes after this, but. Wait, why, why am I going this way? Herp derp. 
turning into my girlfriend. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had a lot of fun with editing Banjo. Like, it's been a lot of work, but I don't think I'd do it again. Well, in terms of the level stuff, anyway. <laughs> but in terms of statistics, I'd probably continue to do that with future games. It really depends on the... Depends on the game. Lately I've been thinking that I might be, might play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker in the future. Uh, just two days ago actually, an HD version was announced for the Wii U. And nine screenshots were 